get crafty, get catching. Welcome to Crafty Carpet TV. My name is Joe Turnbull, and today we're going to look at making all sorts of hook baits um, from you know from your kitchen at home. Uh, we're going to go through the ingredients and um, some of the things you need and may not necessarily need to make it quite simple for you to do it at home. Okay, so we're going to run through a few of the essentials. Uh, basically, you're going to need some sort of a heat source here. We've got a gas canister with a stove. Most uh, carpets have got one of these, so you could use that. If not, you can always use your stove at home. Pan that comes out of the cupboard. You know, there's always an old pan lying about. Ask your mum, I'm sure she'll be all right about it. Um, a sieve, which is handy to get the, boil uh, the boilies out once they've, they've boiled. Um, if you haven't got one of those, again, you can, um, you can use a spoon, use anything, but that just makes, saves you burning yourself, you know, keep it all safe. An old bowl, there's always an old bowl laying about in the, uh, in the cupboard somewhere as well, or if you haven't got an old bowl, you can use an old bucket. An old spoon, which is uh, done the rounds, as you can see, but that just, you know, makes it all, saves you getting messy, makes it a lot easier. So from there, we've got uh, some measuring spoons and a pipette. Basically, these are used to uh, measure out your ingredients. On the side of most of the bottles, uh, of the manufacturers, it tells you um, what you should, you know, what you should use maximum-wise, um, and that just uh, helps again. Uh, from there, we're going to go to the guns. Again, uh, you've got two sizes. You've got a cheaper version, a more expensive version. These are things that you don't really need, to be quite honest with you. Um, but they make the whole job a lot easier. If you, if, you, if you can purchase one of these, then great stuff. You know, you'll, you'll be knocking out bait in no time. Um, and last but not least, we've got um, the tables. Um, these are made by Gardner. Um, they're supplied in all sizes. I think the smallest is probably 6 mil or 8 mil. That's you know, small enough. Right up to the big donkey chokes of 24 mil. Um, but again, these make the whole job a lot easier. Um, once you've got your paste and you've knocked it up, it's in the gun, out onto the table, roll them, you know, it just makes the job a lot quicker. Okay, so we've got a massive range of flavours. All the companies make them. Um, basically, they add a nice taste to your bait. Um, again, they're not essential, um, but they, they, they work, you know, and there's some good old classics. Um, you've got your raspberry ripple there, uh, which is really nice. Caramel creams. Um, you, they're not only sweet, but you've got savoury side of things as well, like monster squids. Uh, you can mix and match these all the time. I mean, two of my favourites, um, long-time favourites, have been the black carrot and the scopex, which are really good, really work well together. But like I say, you could mix, like, for instance, the, ma the maple eight, with the, with the squid, which is you know, just something completely different that no one usually does, and um, you'll be the only one on your water using it, which will give you an itch. Okay, so next we have a range of sweeteners. Uh, most companies do their own, their own brand, if you like. Um, they all do the same job. Uh, they add a sweet a sweetness to the bait, basically, um, and they round some of the base mixes off once they've been rolled. Um, so you, you add them you know, to, the, to the boilies as you're making them to the mix, um, and they'll give you a nice sweet flavour. So next on the list we've got a range of liquid foods. Um, some have been made specially to go with uh, certain base mixes, but you can add them to other base mixes. Um, some of them are liquid versions of dry ingredients, basically. But to add them to a, uh, to a base mix, what they do is they, uh, they, 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 they because they're liquid soluble, they leak out the bait a lot a lot better, and um, and they make the boiling more attractive to the carp. So they're a great inclusion to any hook bait. Okay, so the other thing you can put in your baits are powdered additives. Um, a lot of these tend to be natural ingredients. So you've got your squid powder there, green lip mussel. Um, you've got another form of green lip mussel. Uh, companies do do their own um, varieties. Uh, you've got Robin Red, which are all brilliant attractors in a bait. Um, again, they're not completely necessary, so you don't have to go out and spend loads of money in buying these ingredients, but they do help to go towards, you know, um, a, a, a finished bait, um, which has got all the little bits and pieces in it that carp just love. Okay, so next on the list we've got a range of essential oils. Um, these come in all different flavours. Uh, they're naturally based. They leak out of a bait quite well, uh, they're quite soluble, um, very attractant, uh, highly attractant because they're very potent. You only need one or two drops per um, egg mix. Um, black pepper oil is one of my favourites. And as you can see, these two come in a, a tub, basically, which is a bottle inside a tub, because they are super, super stinky and uh, you want to keep them away from the missus. Okay, so next on the list we've got a range of powdered dyes. Um, basically, these are food grade, added to your base mixes, will change the colour of your finished hook baits. You can mix and match them to whatever you want. Um, there's a few companies that do them, um, but yeah, 
give you a completely different scope to your baits. Okay, so now we come to the main bulk ingredients. As you can see, companies do a range of pop-up mixes. Some are already coloured, so you don't have to add anything to them. Um, and then these are the range of the base, bottom bait base mixes that you get, which are your food base mixes. Basically, they've already got flavours and stuff in them. You don't have to add anything to them if you don't want to, um, but we're going to get onto that later on. Okay, so we've also got a range of cork products. Um, you've got cork balls and you've got cork dust. These can be added to your base mixes before you make your hook baits to make them super buoyant or critically balanced so they'll be slow sinking. Um, you've got cork balls which you wrap your paste around and create a super buoyant pop up. And there you can just see where one that we made earlier, I'm peeling the paste off now, you can see the, the cork ball inside it. Or you've got cork paste basically, cork dust, should I say which you can add to base mixes to create critically balanced hook baits. Okay, so the last bit in the jigsaw puzzle is your rigs. They bind everything together and they put a nice skin on the bait. So, there you have it. We've had a look at all the ingredients and everything you need to make your own bait. There's nothing like catching a carp on a bait you've made yourself. So get crafty and get rolling.